Hello and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to cover something fairly simple and straightforward. What we want to talk about is automating volume changes in Logic Pro. And to do an automated volume change, we are going to use the automation menu. So here we have a little track that you've seen maybe in the past couple videos sitting here at Roaring Records making those YouTube and what we want to do is make the audio change over time in relation to volume so we're going to use the automation menu that's this thing right here and you will notice it says that I can show and hide this menu using the A button on my keyboard so you can either click this at which point it will expand the tracks and let you see this gray line or you can use the A button on your typing keyboard to get in and out of the automation menu. I like hotkeys, so it's something I do regularly. Now this light gray line that you see going through the screen right here, that is your volume bar. And when you click on it, it will turn yellow, meaning no longer do these control the level that you are adjusting your track to. This track is now controlled by this line and this line alone. You can move this line as a unit by clicking and dragging on it, or you can simply place a dot on it, and that will let you change the slope of the line between two dots. So, for instance, I might want that to go there, and then I might want it to fade almost all the way out, and then come back up to a nice uh, level out here at the end. I might want the baseline to do kind of the opposite and kind of take over when the drums go away and then come back down and then maybe i want to do some fun stuff with the guitar and here's something a little different you can actually click this pointer tool and change it to your pencil tool and then click and drag and draw the shape of the automation that you want as you go. Uh, maybe that was a little bit aggressive and that's not really what I wanted. So let me just grab that last line and slide it back till I remove that effect uh, on the audio itself. But now you will be able to see that these things will change in time based on what's happening with uh, the sliders at this point. And to make sure you can see it, I'm going to open up my uh, mixer window and you'll actually see the faders moving at the bottom being controlled by this line sitting here at roaring records making those YouTube videos trying to act like a creator and uh, share some ideas to the world So it had a nice little fade out, fade in. You were able to hear the different things that happen. I hope you found this helpful. This is how you can use volume automation to do fades during your logic project. If you liked it, feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe below.